Hey everyone, it's Bitcoin Brian here with Bitcoin Fam. And today I'm gonna to do a video on Aerodrome Finance and it's token Aero. So if you could hit the bell notification, like, subscribe, leave a comment, all of that will really help us out. Thanks. Before I start today's video, I have to put out the disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. It's just my views and opinions and sharing what I'm doing in the crypto space. So let's get right into it. Aerodrome Finance. You can see the price is $1.82 right now. It's up 32.8% on the 24. Actually, let me refresh that screen real quick and see what happens. So that's huge actually yeah okay so it's down a little bit 31 percent on the 24 it's ranked 148 on total market cap look at the price range from a dollar 36 to a dollar 88 24 hour price range that's huge it went all the way up to a dollar 88 so it's down a little bit from the daily high total market cap is almost 700 million fully diluted market cap uh 1.7 billion good trading volume 85 million uh, circulating supply 389 million there's a total of just under a billion tokens so um so not a super lot but yeah the decent amount so you know you figure if there's a billion tokens and and the price is you know say the price is <clears throat> two dollars so that'd be a two billion dollar market cap so um we'll see what happens with this one you can see down here it's all time high it was two dollars just back uh about 10 days ago 11 days ago two dollars it's down 10 percent from that i think it's working its way back up there and uh the low was october 17 2023 i wish i would have bought it then that's six months ago look at the gain if you would have bought it then that's uh holy cow that's nine million six hundred sixty six thousand one hundred and sixty four point eight percent gain from the price it's at right now to its all-time low in the last six months that is nuts i just got to do a quick thing so if you put in a hundred dollars and that was nine six 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 one six four percent gain that one hundred dollars would have given you almost a hundred thousand dollars it would have been ninety six thousand dollars so just think if you uh put a thousand dollars into it that would have been almost a million that would have been nuts but i think there's still a lot of room to, for this coin to grow so i wanted to know what aerodrome finance was about i heard about it so um and i heard good things about it but i didn't really understand it much so i went to uh of course coin gecko you can go to their website aerodrome which i did I have it pulled up right here and this is what came up the central trading and liquidity marketplace on base so now i'm scrolling down checking it out aerodrome finance is the next generation amm designed to serve as base's central liquidity hub combining a powerful liquidity incentive engine boat lock governance model and friendly user experience aerodrome inherits the latest features from velodrome v2 which i don't know what that is aerodrome nfts vote to distrib distribute token emissions and receive incentives and fees generated by the protocol so it had like stable and volatile trading for low fees 100 percent of protocol incentives and fees go to the voters liquid lock positions in a form of nfts permissionless pools gauges and incentives self-optimizing liquidity flywheel um, so you, I haven't even read into these yet. Anti-dilution rebases for voters. Um, so you, traders, liquidity providers, protocols, VE arrow voters. There's a lot in here. You can see total lock value, almost uh, over a half a billion dollars, 582 million. Monthly trading, 1.1 billion. Uh, monthly fees that it's generated is almost 17 million and over 150,000 monthly users so and they're new they just came out not long ago i think back in um the fall of 2023 so when i looked at it i'm like all right so what is base just to try to get a better understanding of what aerodrome finance is so i went to coinbase what is coinbase layer 
to base. So that's what base is. It's a layer two that Coin, Coinbase created. This was developed by the exchange Coinbase. Base is an Ethereum layer two blockchain designed to make Ethereum more accessible while retaining the security of the main chain. In short, layer two blockchains are scaling solutions that help carry the traffic load for their parent blockchains. Like all layer twos, base enables faster transaction processing and notably the L2 claims to have transaction fees that are 10 times cheaper than Ethereum based on a 90 day average. So basically they're making Ethereum much more efficient, um, a lot cheaper and a lot faster. So that's what base does. So base markets itself as a developer friendly and fully compatible with Ethereum virtual machine. So base is not a cryptocurrency. You can't buy a token. It's just, it's a, a, a layer two solution that Coinbase created. So, you know, Coinbase created base. So, but there's no token, but you can see the base ecosystem. So although base, e although the base ecosystem is still in its infancy, it's fast and cheap transactions, interoperability, and smart contract support make it capable of supporting countless blockchains, apps, and services. So I'm really not doing a video on base, but I, I felt like I needed to explain base a little bit so you'd understand Aerodrome Finance and how I feel it's such a great, great coin and it just came out. So who knows? Coming out at the beginning of a bull market, this thing could skyrocket. So, so you can see here on base, although there are too many apps and services on base to name let's dive into some of the more popular platforms native to its chain here we go aerodrome was right there when i was looking up base aerodrome is base's central automated market maker that's what the amm stands for and liquidity pool it is designed by the same team behind velrodrome which excuse me i'm not sure what that is but we can go ahead and look that up here in a in a minute the leading decentralized exchange, oh, that's what it is, on Optimism Protocol. Notably, the protocol aims to provide funding for projects and developers building public goods on the network. So I go back to Aerodrome. To me, it provides liquidity. It's helping the marketplace work faster. It's helping Coinbase. They, they got to get Ethereum and this scalable. For the masses to use, be quick transactions, seamless, easy, and base is interfacing with all these other protocols. And what happens is Aerodrome Finance is interconnecting for, to me, how I understand it, is the financial sector, the DeFi sector. And we're going to have lots of money coming in, especially we already are with all the institutional investments going on. So Coinbase is just, to me, getting right on top of it. They created Base, and now Base has to create these, these other blockchains to help facilitate making things seamless and fast. So that's what Aerodrome Finance is. It's the automated market maker designed to serve Base's central liquidity hub. To me, it's helping provide liquidity for all these different transactions that are gonna be going on. Like for instance, Coinbase is a custodial holder for the crypto for BlackRock's ETF, I think. So they gotta make it so it's fast and seamless. And it's gonna have to, and Air, to me, Aerodrome is gonna help with that, especially with the masses getting involved with cryptocurrency. Um, we're not even there with the masses getting involved because it's still a little convoluted. You kind of have to really pay attention to what you're doing and know where you're going. You can't just go to one platform and get everything. Um, you got to watch out with the wallets. There's so much going on with it. People are going to want the one press, one, you know, hit this button, opens my app, hit that button, I want that token, and it just, it happens. That's what people want. They want it easy, so they don't really have to think about what's going on. So to me, Aerodrome is helping with that in a huge way. And they're new with the latest technology and blockchain working for them. I think they're going to do great. I really do. I really like what's going on with this coin aerodrome finance on the bases network so let's go right here and we're going to go right into the chart and check out the chart so here's the daily so there's not much data on this so um let me go to so if i go to the daily chart right here the one year it only goes back till so it's only been on coinbase 
since uh, February 6th. So it's only been on, on the market on exchange for only a couple months. So not a lot of data, but you can see the kind of, if you want to call it a consolidation period, it came out, you know, around nine cents. Well, maybe a little, well, it's cheaper as we know, but it consolidated before it got to the exchange. It was probably on DEXs or SushiSwap or Uniswap or something like that. But you can see, well, let me see, actually, let me see if I can try another... Uh, Coinbase is the only one that offers it as uh, USD. So I'm going to stick with that. So you can see what is going on here. Eight hour chart, right? So with this eight hour chart, you can see uh, we had this big flagpole come up, right? And then we had this bull flag forming. And here, let me uh, go back to the day chart. Right, so yeah, it looks a little better, but look at those big wicks, three of them in a row, bam, bam, bam. I mean, that went in three days, you know, it went from 84 cents to its all time high of $2, over 100% in three days. That was crazy move, but now it came back down. So, so here I got the bull flag. You can see this bottom line here, was uh, resistance, excuse me, resistance. This bottom line was support right around a dollar thirty to dollar thirty three, somewhere in there. And this top line, if I wanted to move it up here to that peak, it was, you know, that was our top, top resistance line. So, but just, I like it more so down here. But anyway, um, so to me, we had this breakout. So if you were going to go ahead and trade it, you could go ahead and, you know, from the dollar eighty two it's at right now. You know, it's it's definitely gonna go above its all time high, but even if it made it back to its all time high, it's about a ten percent hit. I mean, I'm looking at this to me, it's gonna be up around this, you know, we're gonna probably see a thirty to who knows? We could see a thirty to a fifty percent hit coming up with this one, I think. Who knows? It's in price discovery mode. It could it could skyrocket or it could hit some resistance that we can't see that two dollars and go right back down i don't know but i think this thing is going to skyrocket myself so what i'm doing is after it breaks out and makes a new all-time high i'm going to wait till it comes back down because to me it would at least come back down to this area to test its previous all-time high maybe a little lower maybe around a dollar 75. so that's what i'm doing i'm going to wait and see what happens it's broken out I was fortunate I did catch this breakout because I was looking to buy a bag to hold. So um, I was just fortunate. I saw it at the right time and I just almost market bought it. Um, I, I set the price, but my my order got filled. So I was fortunate there, but I just started building a bag of this. So I, I definitely want more. So I'm going to be watching this closely um, just to build a position because I think over the next 18 months, this thing is going to skyrocket. Because this crypto bull market is just heating up. So, and when the masses get involved, the volatility, the amount of money coming in besides the big institutional money is going to be huge. So, I really like Aero Finance. Um, that's my prediction of what I think is happening. And a, a little overview of what Aerodrome Finance is. And um, it didn't click with me at first, but this is going to be huge. This Aerodrome Finance, what it's doing um, for the for the crypto market in general. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you could hit the bell notification, like, subscribe, leave a comment. All of that will really help us out. Thanks and have a great day.